Hello, Zaira. Maria. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, TK. How are you? Fine, how are you? Fine, how was your, your weekend? It was pretty good. Saturday morning, I worked. Uh, then I came home in the afternoon. Sunday morning, I cleaned my house a little bit. And in the afternoon, I was here. So my weekend was pretty quiet. Okay. Oh. Yeah, nothing in particular, you know, like uh, uh, yeah. my car is is, is making a, a, a little noise. So I don't want to take chances of going uh -huh. far and, you know, don't have a way to bring bar, bring uh, the car back. So, yeah. all right. Okay. So welcome back. What's okay. today's date? Okay. That's very good. August 16th. August 16th. 16th. Yes, August 2021. 2021. Uh, so August, um, Leo, huh? Leo is for August. Yeah, I'm Leo. Okay, <laughs> good. When was your birthday again, Lorraine? That's August 10th. August 10th. Good, yes. good. Best, yeah, Tuesday the best, after. The best day in the, in the, in the year. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. What is going to be? Adam is going to be celebrating his birthday on August twenty twelve. Who you you will? No, Adrian. Adrian Montoya. Oh, okay, good, nice. Yeah, August. My first daughter. She was born August thirteenth. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, thirteenth. My mom. She was born the nineteenth. Yeah, the, the, the best month of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Adrian, Lorraine, Saira, Yolanda, and Maria. Welcome back. Uh, do you remember the topics we spoke about uh, on Thursday? We talked about... Let me look. The simple present. Simple present. Right. Yeah. What's the function of the yes. simple present? Uh, talk about actions that happen all the time. Good. Yes. Actions that happen all the time. And remember, when you go to a job interview, most likely they will say, tell me about yourself. And when you answer that question, you use the simple present. Yes. Good. What else did we talk about? Anybody? We review something about wishes. About? About a beautiful review about wishes. Yep. Yep. So and when we talk about wishes, you always use the simple past form. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yes. I wish I didn't work on Sundays. I yeah. wish I didn't live far from San Salvador. Yeah. I wish I had a a uh, house in San Salvador. So I wish I had money. So those are wishes. All right. So uh, any questions or comments? No. No? OK, so how many tenses do we have in English? We have 12 tenses. Yes, we have 12 tenses. But we're going to finish the course and you never write the all the 12 tenses I want yes. to. Yes. Oh, uh, let me do it right now. Let me do it right now. Okay. Simple present. Okay. Simple past. Future. Present continuous. Continuous. Past continuous. <coughs> 
simple future. Present perfect. We'll be talking about the present perfect today. Uh, mm -hmm. Present perfect continuous. Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect continuous. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, 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 thank you. Good. Future perfect. And then you have future perfect continuous. Okay, is that 12? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we need one more. Past perfect continuous, past perfect, present perfect continuous, present perfect, simple future, future continuous. Future continuous. And then you have, and there you have the 12 tenses. Every tense has a, uh, what do you call it? An a specific function, and every tense uh, uh, has a particular uh, structure. So once you finish uh, covering the twelve tenses, your fluency is going to be much better. Your accuracy is going to be much better. Okay. Any questions about the 12 tenses? Mm -hmm. We have to, to apply it. more of them. And believe it or not, uh, the 12 tenses are easy to understand, are easy to use. You just have to pay attention to each one and say, okay, I understand the function, I understand the structure. So. It, it, it's not a, it, they're, they're not difficult. The only thing you need to know is the, in, in the present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, you need to use the, the past participle form of the yeah. verb. But the structures are easy to use. Yep. Questions or comments? No? No. All right. So let's use the simple past tense. You're going to be talking about the things you did on the weekend. Oh, on Friday, I blah, blah, blah. On Saturday, on Sunday, today in the daytime. So different things. What's the auxiliary you used to make questions in the past? Did. 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 What happens to the main verb? This is the base form. Base form. What yes. happens when the information is negative? Didn't. 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 What happens to the main verb? Pass. Base form. Okay. Base form. Yes. Now, what happens when the information is negative? What is the form of the verb? Mm -hmm. Pass or was it? When, when you're saying things, when you're saying positive things in the simple past tense, the form of the verb is in past. In past. I went to church, I paid my bills, I visited my uncle, I bought new shoes. So when the information is positive, the form of the verb is always in past form. Okay. Um, do you remember the exception of the verb? that it is mandatory to use it with the um, verb to be? Yeah, what? Uh, born. Born. Very good, Lorraine. I was born. Children are born every day. My nephews will be born next year. So you always got to use born uh, with the company of verb to be. It doesn't matter which tense you're using it. 
Any questions or comments? All right. So let me make your first um, 14 people. Thank you for being here. You could be doing a lot of other things. You could be sleeping. You could be watching TV. You could be playing with your children, talking with your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, but you're here. Thank you. Okay, so let's do this here. Mm -hmm. Out of room and talk about the things you did on the weekend. Let's go. So we discussed the theory before, now you do the practice. Hello, Ailey, can you hear me? Yeah. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, good, waiting for you. I am the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move you to room one right now. Okay, talking All right. about what? Uh, about the activities you did on the weekend. Okay. All right.
I, I, I wash my, my clothes. Okay. And, and when I have time. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, a virtual quiz. Yes. It is the, the exam in the kindergarten is I, I help. I, I always have a, pro, a problem with that word before and after. And I don't like a lot since that it died. What? Things at, at 7 p.m. and I cook the dinner and it does all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and um, Sunday, I clean the house, I clean the bathrooms, and I cook the lunch. In the afternoon, I went to the church, I went to the mass at 4 p.m. And, and we have a, a meeting at 6 p.m. Only, only. On that, today, I went to work uh, okay. all the day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. It, no, it wasn't excited, but no, it was my weekend. This thing that's important. Yes. Yes. Yes, you were busy and that was important. You were very funny. Yes. <laughs> 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 Teacher, how are you? Are you here? I'm doing okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm listening to your stories. <laughs> oh. How was your weekend, ladies? Nice. 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 Good. Lorena, it was a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you do, Lorena? <laughs> I went to eat. I went to the beach. I went to 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 buy. And I went to the church. And I went to. <laughs> so you were busy, enjoying <laughs> your time. I always, yes. I, I try to be always busy because I miss celebrating. Uh, good, good. Her birthday. <laughs> nice, nice. And I'm going to uh, explain how to do that. Miss. Miss you because you are a nice teacher. Oh, thank you. You guys are really nice too. Yeah, I, I feel sad because tomorrow is the last day because you are a nice teacher. Really, really. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are good students. Thank yes. you. You're a good teacher. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, you guys motivate me. <laughs> right. Serious, serious. Yep. We need you in the, the next level. <laughs> yeah, Please. hopefully, hopefully. Because, you know, like apparently we will rest um, Wednesday and Thursday only. And then we start again on Monday. So I hope I, I, I continue with you guys too. Oh, it's good. I hope so. <laughs> we hope to. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. People are still coming back. So, what plans do you have for? Uh, Wednesday and Thursday. To eat? Go to eat again? Uh, what what plans do you have for Wednesday and Thursday? On Wednesday, I'm going to eat, to eat in the afternoon. I have You're going to? To go to take dinner. Oh, time. okay. Good. Yeah. Nice. And uh, on Friday, I after work, I'm going to go to the church. Good. On Sunday. Good. Excellent. Excellent. All right, people. So, uh, any questions on how to express your ideas in the 
simple past tense? No. No? All right. Um, uh, we can use the simple past. We can use past continuous. We can use present perfect, uh, different things. And we can also use uh, used to. Do you remember the function of used to? Function that you began in the past. You, do, you did it in the past and you, you, don't, do, you don't do in the present. Okay. You don't do it anymore. Right. Or vice versa. Something that you didn't do in the past, you but now it. you do. Right? So we're talking about opposites. Positive, negative, or negative, positive. So you always use used to. So we use, um, we apply used to talk about actions you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Um, so how do you say yo solía encumbrar piscuchas? I used to. Play. Fly. Fly. I used to fly kites. I used to fly kites. Yes. Okay. How do you say yo solía jugar chibolas? I used to play marbles. Marbles. Yes, I used to play marbles. So the kites, marbles, tap. Capirucho. Oh, capirucho too. Oh, capirucho is cool. Really cool. I forgot the name of Capirucho in English. I don't know if there is one. And how do you say yo yo? Yo yo. It's the same. Yo yo is the same. Oh. Yo yo. Yes. Yeah. Yo yo. Trumpo. Tap. Trumpo. Tap. Tap. T A P. Tap. Tap. Okay. Yeah. So you had the the tap, and you had some type of rope or string. You wrap mm -hmm. it, and you and throw you it. Throw. Yeah. yeah, it will spin. Really cool. Okay, so right now we're gonna be talking about actions, um, different actions, positive, negatives in question form. Let me see this here. Where is this? Uh, that's not it used to right here okay can you see the uh exercises yeah. yes, yes yes okay let me see if i can send it to you ha, ha, ha. Hmm. I, I can see the number eight teacher. Excuse me? I can see the number eight. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Uh, uh, okay. Did you receive the document in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. So used to. Yes. I used to live in a flat when I was a child. I used to live downtown San Salvador when I was a child. I used to live near Parque Bolivar when I was a child. I used to study in Liceo Cristiano when I was a child. Okay, let me see this here. Recreate, recreate. This is your space to practice all the things we have seen. So move this person here. Everybody has a partner. Let's do this. Used to.
Teacher? No. Teacher, hello? Yes, Maria. Okay, we don't know the, it's about flat. What is a flat? Okay, a flat is very, very similar to an apartment, oh, but the flat does not have divisions. So oh. it's just a big room. Oh, and you okay, decide yes. where to put your bed, you decide where to put the kitchen. So you decide. Oh. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. A yep. flat. flat. A flat, okay. exactly. So, so the first is, I used to live in a flat mm -hmm. when I was, uh, uh -huh. Exactly. That's like a... Like, like an apartment. A, uh, no, 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 like a... Uh, terrain? Uh, no, how do you say terrain? No, I don't know. Uh, land? Land, land, uh -huh, land, uh-huh. No. Okay, a, a flat, a flat, um, have you seen the... It's a big room. Yeah, it's a big room. It's no. like an apartment. Division? Yeah, there, there are no divisions. No divisions. Uh -huh. Right. So imagine you go to um, La Sacamil, La Malaga, La Guatemala. You know, you have the buildings. So, but those apartments, they have divisions. Now, yes. imagine those apartments with no divisions, then they will be flats. Flat means plano. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Right. So, okay. Any other questions? No. 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 <laughs> we are we are beginning. Okay, uh, very good. No problem. Okay. okay. The beginning. Number two. She used to love eight chocolate, but now she hates it. Eight. Yes, I think. I don't know. I used to to eat candy when I was a, a child, but now only sometimes. What were your favorite candies, uh, Jose Edgar? Uh, my favorite candies were candies. Uh, oh. I don't know to say uh, toffees, toffees, vaquitas. Uh, yes, toffees, vaquitas, and, and, and stuff. Stuffed candy. Yeah, stuffed candy. Good. Yeah, I like Mexican candies. Hot. Oh, no. ah, very hot. Yeah, they are really good. <laughs> I have never tasted that. Really? You know, I, I have a, there is a co-worker at the place where I work uh, during the day and he's always selling Mexican candy. Some of them are really delicious. Really, really delicious. <laughs> okay, yep. I must have missed. <laughs> yeah, okay. maybe one day uh, the whole class meets in person and I can bring some Mexican candies. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Two. Now number five. I I used to play tennis when I was at the school. I used to live in flat when I was a child. Yeah, I used to live. We we used to go go to the beach every summer. She used to love eating chocolate. Sería... Ella... She she I think that it had to be she could be able to speak French. But she has forgotten it all. She used to know. be able. She used to be able. We we have to use just used to. Right. I... right. Okay. But it's correct when I say she could be able sure, to. Sure, sure. You can say it like that too. When oh, she okay. was a little girl, she could speak German, but she forgot mm -hmm. it. 
Or mm -hmm. she used to be able to speak German, but she forgot it. Okay. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, sir. Um, the, the number two is, do we use to? Uh, let me check number two. Because it's a question. Let me see it. Uh, yeah, so you say, did we used to? Uh, uh, did. Uh -huh. okay. Did we, we used, used to go to the beach uh, every summer? Did you used to study at Inglés Corporativo? Did you used to live near Soyapango? Uh -huh. mm. Okay, okay. Yep. thank you. Good. Thank you. No problem. Okay, the next one. Um, he used to play golf every weekend. Uh, did he did. used to play?
All right, welcome back. Um, let's do it all together, used to. Okay, what is number one? People? I used to live a flat when I was a child. Yes, I used to live in a flat when I was a child. What's the meaning of flat? I don't know. What's the meaning of flat, people? Apartment. Yes, it's like an apartment, apartment with no divisions. Oh. What about number two? We used, we used to, to go, go to the beach to the every beach summer. summer. Okay, is that a question, a negative, positive sentence? What is it? We did, we did used to go to the beach every summer. Okay, someone else, another version? Did we use Did we, did we used to we, Yes. Did we used to go to did the beach every summer? Mm-hmm. Good. What about number three? She used to, she used to live love in chocolate. Eating, eating chocolate. But no. Now she, she used to crazy. love eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Okay, what about number four? He didn't used to smoke. He didn't used to smoke. Very okay. good. What about number five? I used to I play did. tennis when I was at school. Good. Number six? She used to be able to speak French, mm -hmm. but she has forgotten it all. Excellent. Number seven? He used to play golf every week. No, did he? Did he? Did he, used he used to play, play golf every, every week. weekend. Okay, good. Did he used to play golf every weekend? What about number eight? They both used to have short play. Exactly. What about number nine? Julie used to study Portuguese. Okay, and number 10? I didn't. I didn't used to hate school. I didn't used to hate school. Very good. Questions or comments about how to use, uh, how to apply used to? No. We, we didn't use the, the, the word didn't. Yeah, we, we were just doing the, the question like, uh, I used to, uh, Something I, I used to live in a flat. Uh, we didn't use the word with, with the word didn't. Okay, right. So remember, uh, you apply used to for positives, negatives, and question forms. So in the same rule as with the simple past, if it's a question, you use did. If it's a negative, you say didn't. And um, if it's positive, you say. I used to take a shower at 4 a.m. I used to work seven days a week. I used to help my mother do the dishes. So if it's uh, if it's positive, uh, you apply used to plus the plus the verb. Questions or comments? Sure, grammatically, it's uh, correct form to ask a WH question with used to. Yes, you can. Okay. For example, I can say, Ailey, uh, where did you used to study your high school? Yeah. Oh, I used to study high school at Emiliani. I used to study high school in a national institution. So, yes, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what did you used to do on vacation when you were a little kid? I used to fly kites. I used to play marbles. I used to play uh, soccer or baseball, whatever. Questions or comments? No? no? Okay, now let's go with our last activity. We only have like, uh, we got 15 minutes. Um, we were talking about the present perfect. What's the function of the present perfect? I said that. <laughs> in the past, but it's in the present. Okay, actions that start in the past and sometimes they continue in the present. Someone else? 
Present. Present perfect. So you go to a job interview and they tell you, so tell me about your last jobs. Tell me about your experience as a manager. Well, I have been a manager for five years at this bank. I have moved to five different cities because of my work. I have seen the company grow so fast thanks to the teamwork that we have. So when you're talking about actions that are not finished, you use the present perfect. So you always use have or has, and, um, and you always use the past participle of the verb. Always, always. Uh, and I tell people that the present perfect is one of the easiest tenses to use. Now, the only challenge that the student may have is that he or she has to remember the past participle of the verb. The structure is easy. You always use have or has, and the form of the verb is always the same. Questions or comments? No? Okay, let no. me show you this. What is the form of the verb when you, um, when we use the present perfect? As possible. As, as possible. As Excellent. Okay, can you see the image? Yeah. Yes. What yes. is the past participle of go? When. When. The past participle. Go. Gone. 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 Past participle of bright? Written. 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 Yes. Eat. Eating. Eating. Eaten. 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 Come. 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 Came. Come. Come. Yes, it goes back to the base form. Yes. What about speak? Spoken. 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 See? Seen. Seen. Be? Been. Been. Excellent. Take? Take. Taken. Sing. Take. Sing. Sunk. Sunk. Sung. Find? Found. Found. Send? Sent. Sent and sent. So remember, these are examples of irregular verbs. When you're using regulars, you know that the past participle of regulars, it's always ed. Yes. So the only challenge that you may face is uh, knowing the past participle of the verb. Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, then we go to part two, fill in the present perfect form of the verb. So part two, part three, maybe we have time for part four. Let me, what is letter A? Tom. As found. Uh -huh. As found. As found. A hedgehog. A hedgehog in the garden. In the garden. What about letter B? Have finished their homework. their homework. What about letter C? We have spoken to her sister. We have spoken to her sister. What about letter D? Patty okay. has, has just come. come. Home. Home from school. What is the function of the word just? J U S T. Is recién. What is it? It's like we say recién. Yep. You use just to talk about recent activities. Recent activities. Okay. What about letter E? Richard. Richard has already visited. Visit. Uh huh. Visited his grandma. His grandma. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Any questions in part two? What is the meaning of hedgehog? Puerco espín. Okay. Yep. Is puerco espín the same as erizo? Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay. Good. 
Yeah, Puerto Rico spin. Exactly. All right. Uh, part three, fill in the negative form of the verb. Use the present perfect. So with that, um, with that particular um, chart, with that exercise, you have to use the negative mm -hmm. form. So let me assign you for the last time. Breakout room, recreate, recreate, and this one goes here, and this one goes here too. All right, last exercise of the day. Let's go. Exercise. Exercise three. But Negatives. In the WhatsApp? Yeah, I'll send it to the WhatsApp right now. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so, uh... Hi, sorry, teacher. We sure. I went in the room number one, but he didn't. Okay, let me see it. Adriana. Okay, I'm gonna send you to room number two. Okay. With Anna Menjiva and Edwin Landos.
Ladies and gentlemen, any questions or comments on how to make negative statements with the present perfect? Yes, teacher, I have a question, please. Yes, Edwin. Uh, what is the meaning of su or sui in C? Uh, let me name. see it. Uh, uh -huh. Which number are you in? Number three. Letter letter C. Uh, Dave and Rob. Oh, Sue in the park. Sue is a name. It's like Susanna. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, it's a name. Yeah, it's a name, right? And remember, capital letters they uh they always indicate that you're using uh, uh the name of a person. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. Anybody else, any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so once again, thank you very much for dedicating uh, this hour for you to improve your English. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Have a wonderful night, sleep well. Thanks, teachers. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, see ya. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.